What, 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 are you sure they didn't say business license? Oh, I swear to God, he said biscuit license, and then he flipped my motherfucking tail, folk. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? 12-year-old Sally Hopkins, who was diagnosed with cancer last week, has earned over $1 million on her GoFundMe page. Breaking news, okay? A local black man has raised over $1 million on his GoFundMe page for having flesh-eating bacteria, penis aids, and he can't read. Breaking news, okay? A man has drowned at the beach after being buried in the sand. More on the story as it develops. Breaking news, okay? A plane carrying 250 passengers has crashed in a cornfield. And the pilot, Brooklyn T. Guy, is to blame. The reason why it is his fault is because he was driving the plane. If I was driving a car and I crashed into something, it would be my fault. So since he was the pilot of the plane, it is his fault, ladies and gentlemen. He managed to crash a plane on a sunny, no cloud day like today. Here is his picture, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you shame him for all of eternity. More on the story as it develops. Breaking news, okay? We have an update on the plane crash. We have received the black box data recording of the conversation that the pilot was having in the cockpit as the plane was going down. Let's take a listen. Mayday, Mayday, Tower 1-4. This is Doritos Loco Tango Bravo. I'm missing my left wing and engine. We are going down. We are currently in a downward vertical spiral doing Mach 6. If anyone could get a picture, that'd be pretty lit for the documentary they're going to make on this. Uh, I'm going to alert the passengers to brace themselves. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. If you look out the left side of the plane, you will see that we don't have a f***ing wing. If that's not already obvious, that is a problem. I'm going to turn on the fasten seatbelt sign, even though I can already hear you guys rolling around back there. Uh, my co-pilot is in the bathroom, so that's going to be a terrible time. But don't worry, I'm going to try to land this bitch in this cornfield. Uh, let me turn on some music. Tito Carlos. Oh, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> now, this is some music I could crash a plane to. Oh, yeah. All right. Is everybody okay back there? <laughs> that was awesome. Did you see that? I just landed this bitch with no wing. Suck it, Sully. <laughs> F corn. Wow. His fault. His fault, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Breaking news, okay? A new update on the plane crash situation. The pilot, Brooklyn T. Guy, is not to blame. We have new information developing that a drone was flown into the plane's jet turbine, which caused the wing to come the fuck off. Science is truly amazing, ladies and gentlemen. So the new person to blame is Mario. He's the one who purchased the drone and registered the drone into his name. And also, he obviously thought that it was more important to spend $1,500 on a drone than to pay his fucking house payment. Breaking news, UK! Mario, the face of Nintendo, has been caught with his pants down, whizzing on a bush that had a boy named Patrick in it. Nintendo has yet to respond, but Mario now has to register as a schnell Ophignon. What has this world come to? Breaking news, UK! The famous rapper Precious has broken out of prison. Keep your eyes out, because she's extremely dangerous. Breaking news, UK! I, Mr. Goodman, am holding the first annual Sing Me to Sleep competition, and whoever succeeds in singing me to sleep will win one million dollars. I am holding this competition because I am having trouble sleeping because my bed is made of money and my pillows are made of gold bricks. Breaking news, okay? I am holding a one million dollar best mustache competition. I will be giving away one million dollars to whoever has the best mustache. Breaking news, okay? There's a purse snatcher going around snatching women's purses. But it's 2020, so he's snatching men's purses as well. Police are having a difficult time stopping him. So is there anyone out there that can help us stop this purse snatching menace? Oh, hey, no, Jean-Pierre Francois, a world-renowned artist out of Paris, France, has just unveiled his latest painting, and it's sure to be worth millions of dollars. And, I, and I'm receiving word right now that Goodman's on the scene. Goodman? Thank you, Goodman. I'm actually here with Jacques-Pierre Francois and his new latest painting. What, what, what do you call this, Jacques? I call it the sneeze. The sneeze. Oui. And, 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 and I love the elaborate array of colors. How, how, did you, how did you create such an elaborate piece of work? Well, I put the paint in my nose and I sneezed it onto the canvas. Oh my goodness. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. How long did it uh how long did it take you to, to create such a beautiful piece of art? Three years. Three years, ladies and gentlemen. And he put the stuff in his nose. In his nose, and he sneezed on the canvas. A absolutely crazy. And and, and what do, what do you value this painting at? Mm, Thirty million dollars. Thirty million dollars. I I will take it. I will take it. Thirty million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. I will buy the sneeze for thirty million dollars. Elaborate piece of artwork. Thank you, Jock. Mm. Thank you, Jock, for bringing this into me. Breaking news, okay? For the first time ever, Disney World will be closing tomorrow afternoon due to the cough cough that is making people sick. So if you had plans to go to Disney World, well, that sucks for you. Breaking news, guy. We just got word that a very dangerous criminal escaped from prison last night. God, he's extremely dangerous. He's, he's known to say things are hot, and he's a pedophile. So, hide your kids, okay, because he's coming for them. Breaking news, okay? A man has jumped off of a bridge after he gambled all of his life savings away. Breaking news, okay? There is something causing things to break and people to fall. Scientists are blaming it on this invisible thing called gravity. Gravity is now on the FBI's most wanted list. It is wanted for causing millions of deaths. Every plane crash ever is being blamed on gravity because gravity caused the planes to hit the ground. I'm also getting word now that gravity caused 9-11 because gravity caused the buildings to fall. Keep your loved ones safe from gravity by placing pillows on the ground. Hopefully the police can stop this menace. Breaking news, okay? Dr. Frederick Fingertits has made a groundbreaking discovery that Kool-Aid should be illegal. Let's hear his explanation. Wow, that is truly a remarkable discovery. Yes, wait, yes. I'm getting word now that Kool-Aid has been banned in all 50 states. It is now illegal to have Kool-Aid in your possession. It is now listed as the most dangerous drug in the world. If you have Kool-Aid in your house now, you better flush it. If you are caught with Kool-Aid, the penalty is the electric chair. Breaking news, okay? Hasbro is now recalling all Ken dolls because small pieces have been reported to fall off the doll and cause a choking hazard. So if your child has a Ken doll, please take it from them immediately. Breaking news, okay? Australia is on fire. Over one billion animals have perished in this horrific incident, and firefighters are working tirelessly to put out the fires. Breaking news, okay? There's a new illness going around called the cough cough, and the government is urging everyone to stay six feet away from each other. They are also urging every citizen to stay indoors and do not go outside until the cough cough goes away. Breaking news, okay? YouTube sensation, Hogan Paul, a YouTuber who has 15 million subscribers and makes millions of dollars for making videos on YouTube is under fire this week for recording himself hitting his dead hamster with a baseball bat. We have footage to show you now, but keep in mind, the video footage is disturbing. What's up, ho gang? Guess what I found this morning? My hamster died. Look at him all dead. Well, you know what I do with dead hamsters? This. Whoa, boosh! <laughs> Wow, that is disturbing. Anyway, we have an exclusive interview with Hogan Paul now. Goodman? I'm here with YouTube sensation Hogan Paul, who has recently came under fire for hitting his dead hamster with a baseball bat. Hogan? Hogan! Huh? Yeah, yeah. Where did you think it was acceptable to hit your dead hamster with a baseball bat? Man, the hamster was already dead though. And like, what else are you supposed to do with a dead hamster? Oh. Uh, Bury it, have a funeral for it. Most people would be sad. How are you gonna be sad when you're YouTube famous? Buy my merch! Well, we thought you would have learned your lesson after you ate an entire pizza in front of a homeless family. Man, I was hungry though. Hogan gotta eat. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the time you recorded yourself doing magic tricks for the blind people? Man, they missed a good show and they didn't even clap. The deaf people did though. Now, now I got a question for you. What's that? What are those? <laughs> Wow, that was a shocking interview. However, YouTube did release a statement earlier this morning stating that they do not condone the actions of Hogan Paul, but he makes them too much money, therefore he will not be punished. Breaking news, guy! World-renowned painter Jacques-Pierre Francois has died. He reportedly shot himself in the head making a painting called The Suicide. 
he leaves behind his million dollar fortune to his only child, who is unknown at this time. Breaking news, okay? A 15 year old boy has saved 45 babies from a burning building, and then he saved the world from Godzilla. We have Brooklyn Tea Guy now with a live press conference. Brooklyn? Breaking news, okay? There is currently a hospital that is on fire with 50 babies trapped inside. The fire department and emergency personnel are currently not responding because we know that the hero Jeffy will arrive shortly to save the day. Pampers has already airdropped a box of diapers to the top of the hospital so when Jeffy gets to the roof, he can build another parachute out of diapers and glide to safety. Jeffy, if you can hear us, we need you now more than ever. Breaking news, you guys! A father is claiming that a video game called Minecraft is causing his son to do violent things. We have reporter Goodman on the scene. Goodman? <laughs> Thanks, Goodman. I am here with the father of the child who claims that a video game has taught his son to be violent. Tell us what happened, sir. All right, so what happened was I was sitting on the couch and my son Jeffy wanted me to hang out with him. And I did not want to hang out with my son. So I gave him my laptop and told him to go play on the computer. And that's why he started playing the game Minecraft, which should be banned because Minecraft is extremely violent and it taught my son to break stuff with an ax. Well, as a father, don't you feel that you have a legal obligation to monitor what he's doing on the computer? Uh, I should have to monitor what my son does. Uh, I, I should be able to give him the computer and let him go do whatever he wants. It's Minecraft's fault for being so violent, and it's Minecraft's fault for existing in the first place. Because if my son would have never saw the game Minecraft, he would have never thought to break stuff with an axe. Well, as a father, you teach him right from wrong. But don't you feel like you should teach him not to imitate things in video games and TV? No, I shouldn't have to teach my son not to imitate things because if he never saw those things in the first place, he would never want to imitate them. So the world should change around us and we shouldn't change at all. The world should change the way they are because video games are too violent, TV's too violent, everything should change because I don't want my son seeing that type of stuff. Back to you, Goodman. <laughs> Thanks, Goodman. We're receiving word now that Minecraft is being banned off all devices for its violent content. Breaking news, you guys. The same father from the previous newscast is now claiming that a YouTube video is causing his son to perform dangerous acts. We have reporter Goodman on the scene. Wow, I gotta get back in shape. Thanks, Goodman. All right, I am here once again with the father who claims that his child was taught violent acts from a YouTube video. Tell us what happened, sir. All right, so I gave my son uh, my laptop again, and he started watching YouTube videos. And he came across a video that taught my son to break stuff with a bat and to do dangerous acts. I think that YouTube video should be removed. Well, like I said before, sir, as a father, you should teach your child right from wrong and not to reenact videos, correct? Well, well, no, that video should not exist in the first place because it's so inappropriate, it's dangerous, and I do not want my son watching stuff like that. So YouTube should take that channel down and delete that video because it's very, very dangerous and inappropriate. But millions of viewers have watched that video. Millions of fans have subscribed to that channel, and they know not to reenact the video. So what makes your son any different? Well, see, my son decided to reenact it. So everyone else, I don't care how many viewers they have, everyone else should have to suffer for it because my son reenacted it and my son shouldn't have seen it in the first place because it shouldn't have been on YouTube in the first place. So YouTube needs to take that channel down. YouTube needs to delete the videos because that, 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 that creator just is making very dangerous videos. Back to you, Goodman. Oh, oh, I'm not running this time. Okay, we're receiving word that the violent video on YouTube has now been taken down. And the YouTube channel will no longer receive ads and will no longer make money. Breaking news, guys! A child has been kidnapped and the kidnapper is still on the loose. Make sure your kids are safe because your kid could be next. Keep your kids safe. <laughs>